Hey guys, welcome back to the Yummy Neeks. Today, what are we doing today? <laughs> today we are doing the ultimate vegan sauce fest. What? We are making six different vegan sauces that are all delicious, all fairly easy, and uh, it just allows you to kind of switch up your taste of your bowls and stir fries and all that stuff. And it kind of helps you just like switch it up sometimes because I always have like go-to proteins and starches and veggies that I cook. And it's like nice having like a little rep repertoire, rep repertoire, repertoire of sauces that you can just kind of whip up and use whenever you want. I'll put timestamps for the the different ones, so if you don't care about some of the sauces, you can just do do do, you know? So we're gonna make spicy gauche, gauche, gochuang, gauche, gochujang. Ah, I'm so sorry. Gochujang. I was so off. Spicy gochujang sauce, Thai peanut sauce, a lemon garlic tahini sauce, a tzatziki, a pesto, and a miso dressing. And all of these are vegan, and delicious, and easy, so let's get to it. Yay! Before we start the sauces, I'm just gonna start my meal prep. Okay, so this is like my new favorite thing. It's my little baby air fryer. We're gonna air fry the tofu. All right, so normally when I make tofu, I marinate it. And I try to give it like a certain type of flavor, but because we're making all of these sauces, I'm just gonna do like a really simple seasoning in the air fryer. And the sauces are really where we're gonna get our flavor. I generally always make some sort of starch as well. So we're making brown rice. And then I just cut up some assortment of veggies. Fryer's done, excuse me, as a turn off please. Goodbye. I finally hear myself think. Once my tofu veggies and starch are complete and ready to eat, I'll just throw in one of these sauces with it. And as always, I'll be linking the recipes that I use for the sauces in the description below. So check it out. We are gonna start with the spicy gochujang, I'm, I'm sorry, sauce. <laughs> so for that recipe, we are gonna put everything in the blender and blend. And then it's done. How easy is that? Oh, and uh, you need soaked cashews? Of course I didn't do that, so I just boiled them in water for a bit. Here is the soaked slash just boiled. Oh, I am making a mess. Cashews. Ah! Will I have enough room? Probably not. A cup of water. Oh boy, I really jacked this up, huh? Yeah, we're gonna have to transfer to this big boy. Then we're gonna do three tablespoons of the gochujang sauce. Fourth cup of soy sauce. Three to four cloves of garlic. You don't have to chop it, but I already did, because most of these use garlic. So I went on a little chopping spree. Two tablespoons of sesame oil. It calls for maple syrup, but I have agave, so that's what we're gonna do. Two tablespoons. And then we're gonna add some ginger. And then a tablespoon of rice vinegar. And then we're just gonna blend this up. Now we are going to make the Thai peanut sauce. And this one is also hecka easy. You just put them all in a bowl and whisk it. Oh, put, you put all the ingredients in the bowl and whisk it. For the Thai peanut sauce, you need three fourths cup of peanut butter, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one to two tablespoons of maple syrup, or I'm using agave, one tablespoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, a half teaspoon of ground ginger, two small cloves of garlic, finely minced, one tablespoon of lime juice, and some red pepper flakes. Once all the ingredients are in the bowl, we need to stir it up. 
I ended up switching over to a whisk and then it started to really thicken up on me. So if it is too thick for you, you can add some warm water to de-thicken it. <laughs> and this is me sneaking in a taste and holy moly pants, it is so good. Okay, how do we not make a mess on this? This doesn't seem like the way to do it, but we're going for it. Oh no. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Before the mess got too catastrophic, I wised up and grabbed my handy dandy baby spatula so I could get the rest of the delicious sauce into my little mason jar. Ah! Now we are, oh God, now we're going to make the lemon garlic tahini dressing. Also, super simple, and I'm getting really hungry. For the lemon garlic tahini dressing, you're obviously gonna need tahini. You're gonna wanna stir the tahini because it tends to separate a little bit in the jar, so you just want a more consistent tahini. So we're gonna use about a half cup of tahini. And if you're unfamiliar with tahini, it's, uh, man, the more times I start to say tahini, it just sounds weirder and weirder. It's basically just ground up sesame seeds, which is really cool. The recipe I'm following calls for olive oil, but I skipped it. You also need a fourth cup of fresh lemon juice, a half teaspoon of salt, but I'm using garlic salt, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of maple syrup, but again, I don't have any, so I'm using agave, three cloves of garlic. I just grabbed a handful of <laughs> what I minced earlier. And then the recipe also calls for a fourth cup of water. So you can definitely add this now if you want more of like a more liquidy consistency. I kind of like to keep my sauces a little bit thick knowing that I can always add warm water and stir it to thin it up. And I've made this recipe uh, many times before or similar ones using tahini and they do tend to thicken up the longer you keep it in the fridge. So if you uh, keep it in your fridge for a few days before you use it again, you'll probably wanna add some water and stir it up just to um, get the right consistency that you want. All right, let's, let's taste her. Delicious. Now we are going to make the vegan tzatziki sauce. We are placing a half cup of cashews, two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of lemon juice, about two cloves of garlic. Yes, we're doing the easy one with veganaise, but you can make it with cashews. I'll blend this up and make something out of it, but I'm just kind of over it right now. Half cup of veganaise, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, some lemon juice, some garlic, and some dill, and cucumbers. We'll add some garlic salt and some pepper, and then we're just gonna start. Okay, it's super watery right now, but I think it'll thicken up. Oh, got some on the floor. Nice. Ooh, that tastes hecka good. Oh no. Oh, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Oh no, we got a mess. Okay, a bit of a mess here. It is 10 o'clock and I still haven't eaten dinner, so let's go. We're now gonna make basil, and I'm gonna follow my own recipe. But we're gonna modify it. We're gonna use the uh, blender that we already put cashews in and just go from there. We're really eyeballing stuff here, because uh, all the quantities are off. But basically, cashews, nutritional yeast, lemon juice, garlic, and last but not least, we gotta add the basil. Before we add the basil, we'll add some salt and pepper. Oh, shit, that's way too much salt. She's delirious, is, is, is. That seems fine. And she tastes great. I mean, it's a bit thick. That's okay. Oh. Oh, I got some on my thumb. <laughs> okay. We are almost there. Now we have to make the miso. Dressing. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously, we're gonna need some miso. About a fourth cup of miso. We're gonna do some 
rice vinegar, about three tablespoons. Toasted sesame oil, a little over a tablespoon. Oh, I wasn't looking. The non-maple syrup. And then, da -da -da -da, we're gonna use this again. Damn it, forgot already. And we're gonna stir it together. Yo, this one was so easy. So the spicy part of this is optional. Mm. That was very good. Well, I'm slouching so I can fit in the screen. But we made our six sauces. It's now 10.30 and I'm starving. We have our spicy gauche, Go gochujang sauce, our Thai peanut sauce, our lemon tahini garlic sauce, our tzatziki sauce, our basil, and our spicy miso. Um, I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna put this in some food. sweating and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna enjoy all of these delicious sauces with my base, which is air fried tofu, brown rice, edamame, bell pepper, onion, cucumber, broccoli slaw, and uh, every sauce is gonna make it taste so different and good. Thank you guys for going on this cooking excursion with me. And uh, you know, if you like stuff like this, let me know. There's like a thumbs up button you can push or you could subscribe. Okay. Okay, bye.